Hey dear subscribers and watchers, this is Anki and you are watching Sliders. Today we are going to have a look at how to draw a particular pattern using your total module. So let's get started. First you got to import your total. Next you got to define your canvas by using this particular syntax that is variable name equal to total.pen function. So here I have mentioned my variable name as D and then I am initiating my canvas. Next, I am declaring some certain set of variables. Please note, when you are declaring a variable in Python, there is no need for you to mention the data type. Python will take care of the value and the data type. So that is the best part about Python. Next, I am making use of a for loop in Python. The syntax for the for loop is as follows. For variable in range the value of the range. In this case, I'm using the variable height, which is having the value 60 in this case. If you don't follow this particular syntax, it's all right. I'll be covering this entire series of for loops and other conditional loops in the further part of the series. Next, I'm calling the dot function. Now, the dot function is used to trace or to print a dot pattern on the canvas. Next, I'm calling the forward function. The forward function will ask the total to move forward to the value of pixels mentioned in the variable dot distance. In this case, the distance is 10. That means the total will move now 10 pixels forward. Next, I'm calling the back module. The back module will trace back the total to its position of the distance mentioned in the parenthesis. The distance out here is dot underscore distance into the width. That means I have to multiply my dot distance that is 10 into 30, which will give me 300. That means the total will now trace behind by 300 pixels. Next, I'm calling the right function. The right function will ask the total to turn towards the right hand side by the angle mentioned in this particular parenthesis. The value of the turning is 90 degrees. That means the total will now turn 90 degrees to the right. Next, I'm calling the forward function. The forward function will again ask the total to move in the forward direction. The value for the distance is the variable dot underscore distance, which holds the value 10. That means the total will now move 10 pixels in the forward direction. And the last I'm using is the left module. The left module will ask the turtle to move to the left direction. The angle of the movement is going to be value prescribed in the parenthesis. In this case, the value prescribed is 90 degrees. That means the turtle will now move to the 90 degree. So let's have a look at what exactly is the output of this particular code. So that is the output of this particular code. If you like what you saw, please like the video, share the video, comment below and subscribe to Slide Nerd. Stay tuned for more on Python. Thanks for watching.